Welcome back, YouTube. On the way to the gym, gonna show you guys where I'm training, what I'm doing, push today. Um, little bit of a day in the life. Um, so yeah, time to get to the gym, get cracking. See you guys in a bit. So I've had my pre-workout coffee, um, so I'm, I'm raring to go. This is a typical site in Ireland. Roadworks that have been ongoing for three months. I'm gonna show you guys um, where I'm training, what I'm doing, what my training split is, kind of let you guys into my life a bit more. Obviously now I'm some bit settled. Um, some of you guys have just joined the channel. Um, so I'll be letting you guys in on a lot more about me, how I train, um, you know, the foods I eat, loads of things like that, how I manage running a business and a PhD and trying to stay in shape all at once. Um, so that's what's to come over the next few weeks. This has been, I suppose for the last few days and will be for the next few weeks, my home, really. Body image, health and fitness. This is where I'm gonna be probably spending most of my summer. Um, right now the training split is push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, day off. Um, I'm training twice a day. Um, this is gonna be my training partner for the majority of the summer. Say hi. Hi. For those of you guys who haven't really been following Alistair's journey, he competed a few weeks ago in Miami Pro, turn pro, obviously, and then um, standard. And he's doing a pure leaf in a few weeks. So when we train here, this is his place. Yeah. I've kind of I've kind of claimed a beanbag where I've been spending a lot of uh, this quality, morning. Quality time. A lot of quality time. Just chilling out. Just chilling out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the gym um, and then go through my training split afterwards. We've got our platform, power racks, nice sets of dumbbells, kind of cardio area. Um, so this is the more cardio, um, lightweight area. We've got treadmills, bikes. One thing that we are kind of missing in here is um, a bench, so a heavier bench. Um, but this place is only gonna open like a few weeks, so we're getting there. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's loads you can do here. For me, it's absolutely ideal, because right now I just want to get back into the swing of things. Um, so doing this over the next few weeks, I'm gonna get back into some decent bit of shape, um, and just go from there. Those of you guys who've kind of been following my uh, travels over the last few months, I haven't really had a consistent training plan since last year, um, since probably before Christmas. So this is me stepping out up a level, getting back into the best shape of my life. Um, I won't be traveling as much. Um, I'm at home, I can cook, I can prep, I can get everything done, I can train twice a day. So now it is time to just smash it. Um, and having a gym so close that is virtually empty at this time of the day is massively handy, very close to my house. Um, so yeah, really excited. I've got all my goals laid out. Um, my physique goals for the year are laid out. It's one thing that I highly recommend you guys to do when you're going through, you know, more of a, a cut or a bulk phase or anything like that is to have goals, um, small goals first and then long-term goals. Um, and it makes it so much easier, um, you know, to gauge your progression as you go. So traditionally, I would have probably done more of a bodybuilder split. Um, shoulders, legs, arms, back, that kind of thing. At the minute, I'm trying to go for more of a push-pull leg split. So push-pull legs, push-pull legs, stay off. Um, and here it's perfect. I mean, I can get to come twice a day. So if I'm coming twice a day, I'm gonna train first thing in the morning, which is more of a circuit session, um, burn some calories, um, and then come back and hit my proper weighted resistance training session, um, mainly focusing on progressive overload, increasing the weight every week. Um, 
that's the goal. So yeah, this is where I'm going to be for the next few weeks. Um, you know, amongst traveling, um, and it just happens to be my best mate who set it up, which is so cool, so handy. Um, when I was last here was when this place was completely bare. So for those of you guys who don't know, this is Alistair. I'm going to leave all of his um, details in the description below. So check him out, check the gym out. Uh, as Chris said, the last time he saw it was it was a shell, and you actually came with me the day that yeah. we arranged to meet with the auctioneer and look at the place. So I was getting ready for the, the Miami Pro and I uh, was PTing out of a gym and the gym closed down um, and I was left with you know quite a few members that needed to be rehomed re and uh, everyone was saying oh you need to open your own place you need to you know um, get your own place and all this and to be honest all I was concentrating on was you know was getting ready for the, for the competition. Well, like two weeks before he set this place or bought this place this place had to be done so so quickly it was on minimal carbs, so yeah, it was not. Yeah, so we got, got this, got the keys. Once I got the keys from it being a bare shell and uh, from it being painted to fit it out, so did the, pretty much the whole thing myself. Um, it was 12 days yeah. from having, from, from it being a bare shell to the door being open fully stocked. Yeah, it's awesome, and look at this. So, this is, I suppose, the more, the more functional area we've also got the cardio area inside um, cardio sections so yeah he's done well when you put under pressure and you put under you know uh, time restraint that people perform at their best when yeah. you're under pressure you know yeah 100 uh, rather than you know going oh yeah we'll do this tomorrow we'll, you know whatever when you know there's a deadline and you have to like i had to have the door open and i knew i had to go to england because we've been preparing for Miami Pro for nearly 10 months and there was no way that I wasn't going to compete in that and when this challenge was put to me there was no way that I wasn't going to finish this as well so um, so yeah we, we got it done and the, you know the kind of rest is history but it's a work in progress we still uh, there's an upstairs that um, we're doing a building a classroom putting a sunbed and um, a treatment room as well so that's um, that's happening now in the next couple of weeks and um, we're running uh, various different range of classes and things out of that but you know um, yeah so that's yeah awesome like I said, I'm going to put all the, uh, the details in the description. I'm going to train now, get it done, get it out of the way. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. You're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size holes in my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. That's push done. Um, as you can see, weight is really light. Um, exercises are very isolated. Um, literally just trying to get some blood back in the muscle. I haven't trained properly in a really long time. So come in, stimulate the muscle, leave. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. That's kind of my first kind of uh, training edit. Um, so, yeah, time to get some shopping, get some food, um, and get back to some work. Oh, right, done. Time to get some food. Um, yeah, this is it. It's pretty decent, but uh, yeah, glad to be back. Oh, for those of you guys who aren't sure where I'm from, this is it. This is my back garden, which is pretty damn awesome when you're used to living in London and you can step outside and you've got this in your, uh, in your backyard to come straight from training, come out into the garden um, and just chill out out here. It's pretty sick. Gonna grab some food in a minute, but taking a few minutes just to take in this scenery. Um, so happy to be back. really don't appreciate this enough it's pretty cool being back um, I'm gonna enjoy the peace and quiet for a while before I decide where I'm gonna buy a house what I'm gonna do where I'm gonna live um, all those things so um yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty cool just gonna chill here um, head in get some post-workout food um, gotta oh, gotta show you this Whoa, so 
this for the time being. It's my little man cave. Supplements galore. See shoes, most of this is just rubbish. Various different samples collected over the last few weeks really only of, of various companies that have sent me stuff. So um, yeah, at the minute I'm not really going to go into um, the supplements that I'm taking or anything like that. Not that I'm taking many, if any at all. Um, we'll just start on training, work on everything else. I'll do a little vlog on um, what supplements I'm taking probably next or, or my nutritional program or things like that. But training first. First thing we're gonna go for is my favorite. <gasps> we're in. Yeah. Big bowl of this post-workout. Um, get some of this in. So that's it. Granola emails for the next few hours. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Peace out.